Dear God, I want to bless you. I don't know if you know that or not, the cross and the story of grace give you the gift of the righteousness of God. A lot of people are like, yeah, my sins were forgiven, but did you know that you received the righteousness of Christ? Righteousness apart from keeping the law. I want that in my life. I want to receive that kind of grace. The second impossibility is, is that you've got to walk out of here and change your life. You've got to walk out of here and follow Christ. You've got to walk out of here and be the kind of man that God wants you to be. You've got to walk out of here and be the student that God is dreaming that you're going to be. You've got to walk out of here and read this Bible and say, hey, this is going to be my map, my, my guide. This is what I want to be about. And when you start getting into that journey, you're going to realize it's the second impossibility. I can't become everything God wants me to be. I can't go and sin no more. Is there anybody here that got the first part of grace and you knew your sins were forgiven, but when you walked to go and sin no more, you realized you didn't have the power to do that our story is grace it's God at work to put people back together with him in the first place and to empower them through his life because if Christ is the one who reconciles me to God who else am I going to make famous with my life this is a new year. so it wasn't just God giving life to you and then putting you on a journey on this earth and saying, okay, now it's up to you to figure it all out. But God is saying, I am as committed to you today in 2010 as I was the day I knit you together in your mother's womb. On that day, I was committed to you, as committed to you as I was on the very first day of creation when I already knew you were gonna be a part of it, as committed to you as I was before the world was even established when I already loved you. I've been committed to you the whole time, and I'm committed to you now. God is for you. That's the theme of tonight. Happy New Year. The God of heaven is for you. Here's the remix. Instead of all of our prayers saying, Dear Lord, thank you for this day, we just want to ask you to bless whatever. What if the prayer started, praise be to God? That's our opener. And secondly, as I go into this meeting, as I meet with these guys, as we're having this conversation, as this deal is going forward, as this stuff is being worked on, as I'm sitting here taking this test, as I'm writing this music, dear God, I want to bless you. You have already blessed me. So here's my prayer. I want to bless you. I want to bless you. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are.